die, loser, die! Aw. Time to get you back home, Brad. You can take, uh, Wacko Warlords with you. <laughs> bye bye loser. Bye, Brad. Uh, can you come back tomorrow? Well, I probably have better things to do with my time than pummel your butt, but okay, loser. Um, I think Juan has plans, actually. Aw, no fair, Dad. You promised I could have someone over tomorrow if I finish my book report. Yeah, Pops? Uh, well... Let's talk about it later. Daddy, read this. Brad says it's totally sick. What? Are you going to read it or not? Maybe not. I want to talk to you about Brad. Isn't he cool? Actually, I don't like the video games he brings over. I also don't like the way he talks to you. No son of mine is a loser. Well, uh, he's just being funny. Maybe. But I wanted to tell you about the day I decided Mickey D was my best friend. Was he cool? Well, I thought so. Now, it was kind of a tough year for me. I just figured out that my big brothers and my dad were kind of different from me. They did sports. I liked to fix cars. And I didn't like my teacher, Miss Grub, because all she wanted to do was spelling bees. Mickey D made fun of Miss Grub behind her back, which I loved. But he also made fun of me, to my face. So one day, my dad picked me up from the park and saw Mickey D doing what he always did. He was imitating my voice, and a bunch of kids were laughing. So when I got in the car, my dad says, That guy's not your friend, is he? Yeah, Dad, he's my new best friend. He's Mickey D. Best friend. Right. I got mad and exclaimed, you don't want me to have any friends, do you? And then my dad said something that I never forgot. Eric, as a kid, you don't get to make a lot of choices. You didn't get to pick your brother or your teachers, and you sure didn't get to pick your mother and me. But every day, you do have one choice. You get to choose who your friends are. It's important to choose good friends, even at your age. Good, like never do anything wrong? Well, not necessarily. A good friend to you. Start a conversation with your child about what makes a good friend. Keep the talk easy and friendly, and you'll be laying the foundation for continuing the conversation for years to come. Here's what I told my son. A good friend doesn't make fun of you or put you down. Friends don't boss each other around. They're equals. Yeah, I get bossed around enough by my brother. Finally, good friends bring out the best in one another. They help each other be creative or generous. Not just play violent video games all day? <laughs> hey, you said it, buddy. Not me.